in this question you have a AC main supply that means an alternating current will flow through the circuit one moment you'll be flowing in the clockwise direction and the next moment you will flow in the anti-clockwise moment and the cycle will continue and next you have three diodes here connected these two bulbs and they are connected in parallel and you have a switch S over here just a quick revision on the diode if you have the diode in this way that means to say when the current is flowing in this direction this is forward bias the resistance of the diode will be very low and current can flow through easily and when the current try, tries to flow in the opposite direction this is reverse bias the resistance will be very high and basically no current will be able to pass through so this is the simple concept of a diode Another thing to clarify is some student thinks that when the bulb is lighted up or is bright in this case the word used here is the light bulb will be switched on I mean continuously but you have to understand that when a AC current flows through one moment is flowing in the clockwise the next moment in the anti-clockwise this bulb is lighted up and it will flicker so for this question as long as the current flows through and it flicker even though it's not continuous it is considered bright it's lighted up now let's consider the first scenario when the switch s is open if this is open basically this part of the circuit here is actually redundant because no current will flow through it's an open circuit so now let's assume at this particular moment the ac current is flowing trying to flow in a clockwise direction so you can see that as it tries to flow through here this diode is reverse bias the resistance will be very high so basically no current can flow through when the potential at this point is higher and current tries to flow in a clockwise direction so definitely both l1 and l2 will not light up now how about when the alternating current is trying to flow in the clock anti-clockwise direction so if I use a highlighter to show you the path if right now the current flows through here and it goes through the bulb and through this diode this is forward bias the resistance will be very low so it will just continue likewise for this diode this is forward bias resistance is very low so you have it here a closed circuit so the current can actually flow through so L1 the bulb will light up so it will be bright how about when it tries to flow through here okay there are another parallel branch here but you can see that the diode here is reverse bias the resistance is very high so basically no current will flow through this branch and L2 will be dark now let's consider the second scenario when switch S is closed so when this is closed okay you have to understand that this is a low resistance path so current will definitely flow through choose to flow through this uh, wire here because of its low resistance so let's assume once again let's use blue color the current right now is flowing in the clockwise direction it will not pass through the diode because it will choose to flow through this low resistance path and current will continue to flow through this diode because it's forward bias pass through the light bulb l2 so it will be bright and then continue back to the supply so you have a closed circuit here and l2 will be bright how about when it tries to flow through this branch as you can see as the current flows in the clockwise direction this is reverse bias resistance is very high so no current will flow through this branch and L1 will not light up so this will be dark so we have established that L2 will be able to light up when S is closed how about we have not yet considered if the alternating current is flowing in the anti-clockwise moment okay I'll use the green color highlighter to show you when it's flowing in the anti-clockwise direction now the current can flow through this about L1 pass through this diode which is forward bias low resistance and a diode uh, it will have a certain resistance at low current so it will still choose to flow through this low resistance path and then go back here so you have a closed circuit and light about L1 will light up so it will be bright and it as it tries to flow through this branch 
so this diode right now is reverse bias so nothing will flow through this branch when the AC current is trying to flow in the anti-clockwise direction so there you have it so therefore B will be the answer